Hey, what's up, guys? It's a Tech Wally, and today I went to the EVA, and at the LG booth, I saw something very awesome, and you've probably heard of it. This is the LG G Watch R. The LG G Watch R is a circular smartwatch by LG and it's a competitor to the very popular Moto 360. So I think that this is a very awesome watch. I haven't tried the Moto 360 yet, but I can really tell you guys that the G Watch R is amazing. It looks very much like a normal watch. As already mentioned, it has a round display. It runs Android Wear and it has a removable leather band, a physical button on the right side of the watch, which works as a home button, obviously works with Google Now. You've probably heard of Android Wear before. I must say the design is just great. It is very stylish. It looks very much like a normal watch. So if I wouldn't tell you guys that it is a smartwatch, you probably wouldn't have guessed that it is one. It gives you all the basic Android Wear functionality like read messages and respond to them by voice or open things on your phone. It got some beautiful watch faces. And yeah, I'm a huge fan of it. Also, you can charge this watch by placing it on the charger. It comes with a 1.3 inch full circle POLED screen with a 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 400, which is actually really good considering that this processor was used in budget smartphones this year. It comes with Android Wear, obviously, it has a 410 milliamp hour battery, we will definitely have to wait and see how the battery performs. It comes with Bluetooth 4.0, a nine axis sensor. So that's accelerometer, compass, gyroscope, a heart rate monitor, and a barometer. When comparing it to the normal G watch, you realize how thick this watch is, the G watch R. It is, in my opinion, much more beautiful. Um, the materials used on the band are much more premium. Obviously, the price is also a bit higher. I'm not sure about the price, but it's definitely higher. My guess is around $250. They run the same operating system. However, the G Watch without the R doesn't have a physical home button. I also saw the LG G3 stylus at the IFA. However, the footage you see right now isn't of the LG G3 stylus. This is just a normal LG G3. So the LG G3 stylus is basically a budget version of the LG G3. It has the same 5.5 inch screen, however with a much, much lower resolution with 960 by 540 versus Quad HD. It comes with a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor versus 2.5 gigahertz quad core and one gigabyte of RAM versus two to three gigabytes of RAM. 8 gigabytes of internal storage versus 16 or 32 gigabytes and they both come with android 4.4 kitkat however there is no lte on the lg g3 stylus for me this totally depends on the price if it's really cheap then sure it's a good phone however a phone with not even hd resolution no lte support that's just not good enough for me. Also, I saw something funny that I just wanted to mention. There is a kids on wearable by LG. It is a wearable for children and for the parents replacing a phone. So children can call their parents and also parents can call their children just by pressing the button on the watch. I think it is kind of funny because you can just get a phone, but it is still a funny invention in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely give me a thumbs up down below and stay tuned for some more IFA coverage. See you in the next one. Bye.